Welcome back to the ETVU Coaches Show. You know the drill. I'm Marty Robinson, and this is head women's soccer coach Eric Solberg. And you guys picked up a big victory this past weekend. And I know normally when you come in here for these interviews, you're ready to talk to K-Rock. But you got me this time. We're switching things up. So just kind of talk to me about, you know, you guys coming up with a big victory, um, heading into the ASC tournament uh, for tomorrow. So just kind of talk about, you know, what you saw in the, the games this past weekend for your team. Yeah, happy to be with you. I love the highlight of my week. No matter who I get to work with, it's a great crew and uh, always excited about it. Good weekend for us. Um, you know, UT Dallas, a change of venue, uh, playing on Friday over in Shreveport. Uh, we kind of left some cards in our hand and, and didn't show our, our full hand uh, on Friday. Uh, they gave, gave a goal early, just made a couple of defensive mistakes, but thought we played pretty well. The shot line was even, corner line pretty even. Uh, in the match, we just didn't test the keeper enough with our shots, I felt like. We made a couple of defensive miscues that uh, you know, really cost us in the game. And I thought once we had a halftime 1-0, we had a real chance in the second half, gave up an early goal. Uh, and at that point, you know, turning around and playing another big important game on, on Saturday uh, as far as senior day and homecoming, even if it didn't have implications on, on playoffs, uh, you know, really wanted to kind of give some team people some time uh, so just so we could see who could help us on Saturday and then now in the conference tournament. So we knew going in we were going to be uh, the seventh seed and um, obviously took care of business on Saturday. You loved the way we played for our seniors and on homecoming. Uh, one of our better games we've played all season long. Uh, total team effort, got another shutout. I think it's our sixth of the season, so that's really, really positive. Um, and took care of business. I thought Reagan Kapler played tremendously well. We got great goalkeeping, uh, great work from our back line. Midfield dominated the game, got stuck in. We played a lot uh, with a lot of physicality, and, and obviously Ford's played well as, as well. And, and could have more goals, but I uh, feel like we're, we're, we're hungry to go get them tomorrow and, and really proud of where our team's playing. I think we're peaking at the right time, and hopefully we can carry that forward. Absolutely, and uh, just talking about you know how your team's uh, looking right now going into uh, the tournament. Uh, you picked up uh, three out of the last four four wins. So is the momentum right now at I don't want to say an all time high, but is yeah. it is it where it, it needs to be to go into uh, another big game against UTD tomorrow? I think it certainly is. You know, for us, uh, we've we've played some really good soccer for stretches this year. You know, we won three in a row, kind of at the end of September into October. Uh, then we lost a couple, and now we've won, you know, uh, three out of our last four. So we've won six out of our last nine to kind of close the season, you know, above 500 again. So we feel pretty good about where we're at, playing some really good soccer. I think if we show up and play, especially in the attack and, and defend well, uh, we've got a chance to, to run the table this week. But it starts with taking care of business tomorrow. I think we are um, finding form at the right time. We played some really good soccer even against UT Dallas in the loss on, on Friday. And, and I think both teams left some kind of in, in their tank. And, uh, obviously, did enough to win on Saturday, and so we feel really, really good about the way we're playing. Uh, and we'll concentrate on playing our game tomorrow, make some adjustments uh, relative to them, and hopefully, we come out and, and come away a victory and take the show to Abilene on on Friday. Absolutely. Uh, just kind of talk to me about, you know, I think one of the underlying things about these last few matches is the fact that you guys actually, considering the change of venue on Friday, played a back-to-back. -back, yeah. You know, so just kind of talk about, you know, the how to kind of coach around that and how to, you know, conserve some energy. You know, you guys are playing a big game tomorrow, obviously. So just kind of talk about the importance of that. You know, is is that kind of a, a, a barrier that you guys kind of have to go over with playing the back-to-back -back and then having to turn around and play tomorrow too? You know, everybody played on Saturday and has to turn around and play on Tuesday. So there really wasn't anybody that, that played early besides Harden, Simmons, and McMurray, and they play each other. So there's no competitive unfairness uh, there. They played Thursday and, and we're off the rest of the way. So... You know, for us, it, we don't look at it that way. I think we did do some things on Friday to prepare for Saturday just to make sure, you know, that we had a uh, full complement of players. We're lucky. We're really deep this year. We've got a really strong bench uh, that we're able to use. And, and some players, you know, tried to prove some things on Friday and Saturday as well. So, uh, you know, I don't think it really carries over too much to Tuesday. Well, we had a lighter training session last night, and we'll have a lighter training session tonight than maybe we normally would just to accommodate that. But I also feel like, you know, when you're playing really good soccer, you want to keep playing really good soccer. You don't want to... Uh, you know, have a week off and just sit around, sit around, sit around. So I think we're happy to play tomorrow. I'm, you know, I, I love that we're playing two hours down the road, two and a half hours down the road. We can go day of. Kids can sleep in their own beds tonight, get a good meal tonight, and, and we can go take care of business tomorrow. And then hopefully, like I said, keep on moving forward. But, uh, you know, for us, we have a lot of confidence. Uh, I'm really proud of where our team has come from and uh, hopefully where we're going and, and really feel strongly and confidently that if we play our best soccer tomorrow, uh, we've got a great chance to win the game. And um, like I said, a uh, chance to make history. So really proud of us. Absolutely. My, my final question for you is, yeah. you know, this, this past weekend, obviously uh, your seniors playing for the last time at, uh, uh, <clears throat> at uh, Cornish Field. So 
just kind of talk to me about, from a coach's perspective, you know, seeing, you know, Crystal, Mazan Hernandez, seeing Megan Friend out there uh, for you guys, um, kind of what was going through your head during those moments? Yeah, you know, I thought our whole team played really, really well, and they played in a way that was very collective, probably one of our best team games. The bench was loud um, and crazy. I thought, uh, you know, obviously Crystal played, I thought, an uh, outstanding, unbelievable game um, for her, probably the best game I've seen her play since she's been here. Got an assist, so she's on the score sheet on senior day, which is really important. And Megan Friend has been really battling through injury. Uh, didn't play as much on, on Friday, but I really played you know, best game I've seen her play in, in quite some time uh, on Saturday. So I thought she did really, really well. Um, I thought our whole team played great, but yeah, really proud of how our seniors played. It's been just a privilege to coach those two wonderful young women, and hopefully we get to do it a few more games this week and, and see what happens. But I'm really proud of them and, the, and just the young women they are, the people of character they are, and the leaders that they are, um, both on and off the field. Uh, I could go all day about how I feel about them and, and have shared some private thoughts with them and with our team this week. But um, you know, we're, we're excited to honor them again tomorrow on the way we play, and hopefully it's not their last game. Absolutely, Coach. And, uh, well, we'll be keeping uh, track on you guys as you battle UTD on Tuesday. And uh, we're hoping, obviously, that you can prolong the season. Absolutely. So, yeah, thanks again for joining us. And uh, we'll be back on the ETBU Coaches Show. Uh, have a little bit of surprise for you on, on today. So just stay tuned. We'll be back. You'll see what it is on the Southern side.